Hello there, uh, welcome back. So in this video, video tutorial, we're going to continue off from uh, part 4, uh, and in part 5, this this video here, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to write the code to make this into a keyboard input. Uh, and this comes in handy sometimes when you're um, when there's a computer without a keyboard, but you have your laptop or your cell phone with you, and you, you want to use those as a keyboard. So all you have to do is just plug in your Raspberry Pi into whatever device does, that does not have a keyboard, and then you can use your phone or your, your laptop to connect to it and and have that act act as a as a keyboard itself. So let's get into the code um, into here. So um, over here. Uh, so we left off last time um, from part four. Um, we don't need actually we don't need this uh, this line of code here anymore because we're acting as a keyboard. So we can comment that out or we can delete it. And over here, we're just going to alter this uh, function here, this interpret function. We're going to have it take nothing. So we can get rid of that, and we're also gonna have uh, we're also gonna make a variable called just true. So we're gonna we're gonna call this variable typing equals true. Um, also, we also need to um, we also need to uh, we need to change a few things in this in this uh, function here, this variable function. So first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of all of this here, this code here. We don't need this. Get rid of that. We don't need any of this. Get rid of that. We uh, also we don't need this. Get rid of this as well. We don't need. Uh, I believe we don't need that either. And everything else, I guess everything else we need. Uh, since we got rid, of, and we don't need this either. We're gonna have it interpret take nothing. And up here, interpret takes nothing, and that's good. And everything else should be fine. Let's just uh, backspace this. There. Okay, so we're gonna make a for, uh, we're gonna make um, uh, a a loop, a while loop. So while well, in, in our case, we're gonna go while uh, typing. Because typing, we set the true. So while typing. Is basically saying while true, um, we are going to do a couple of if con conditions. I believe we don't need this either. Here we can get rid of, we can get rid of that. We don't need the space either here. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna tab this out. That's good. And the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to exit out of this uh, this program while you're typing. Of course, we need an input. <laughs> Sorry, we need an input. So we need a. Um, we need to make a variable that takes in an input. So uh, let's, it's called word equals input. Uh, this is basically our command prompt. And uh, let's make a command prompt look like this. I think this actually looks quite nice as a command prompt. So if you if you remember if you know Linux or any sort of command line, you typically have a prompt, and this will be our prompt here. And so we're gonna we're gonna take in uh, we're gonna take in an input, and from that input. We're gonna say if word equals exit, and then we are if word equals exit exit, we are going to end the loop. So we're gonna typing. Oops, typing will equal, but we're gonna assign it to false. And so this basically will end our while loop and will exit out of the program. Um, yeah, and that's false. And then we're, over here, we're going to turn this into an elif. Let me just take a quick look at my document. Uh, yep. Elif, if it merged keys, everything else is the same, sleeps the same. Um, we are not going to need the this last part here. So we're, we're not going to need any of this. We can comment that out or delete it here. And uh, else, translate word. I can just it's, to make this look nicer. You just might as well delete it instead of commenting it out. And over here, write report. We're just gonna put it just inside the while loop, just to ensure everything, all the keys are released at the end. And down here, um, yeah, and down here, interprets. Uh, it's empty, and that's good. And that's it. That's all we need to do for this code. So let's uh, let's try to run it and see what happens. So our command prompt should show up. 
Okay, here's your command prompt. It's right over here. This command prompt here. So it shows up right here. So if you type in something like hello, it should the uh, it should yeah, give those inputs. So it comes up here. But we also have keywords such as enter, and that he keyword works. We also have a keyword of sleep, and let's give it like five seconds. And if you notice, there's no command prompt. It hasn't shown up yet because it's sleeping for five seconds. So this is a, sort of a pause. And yeah, and that's everything that you need to know about turning your Raspberry Pi uh, Zero into uh, a keyboard, or a, keyboard, a wireless keyboard.